Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own intro for a YouTube channel. Episode 1. Let's start. First, you have to start a new project. Select New Project and rename it. In my case, I'm going to name it How to Create an Intro for your YouTube channel and select Create. Select Project Settings and you're going to choose the frame rate of your video. In my case, I'm going to choose 25 frames per second. In Timeline Frame Rate and Playback Frame Rate, choose 25 frames per second or the frame rate that you want and choose your video format. You can save this setting. Select Presets and then save as and name it. After this, select load. In edit, select effects and drag fusion composition to your timeline. Rename your timeline. You can choose the resolution of your timeline. Click on the right button of the mouse and select timeline settings. Then select use custom settings and then change the time resolution. In my case, I'm going to leave it like this. In Fusion, you will find a node with the name Media Out 1 that you are going to leave it here on the side. Later, you'll understand why. You're going to create a new background. Select this button, drag it and then click on the right button and select Rename or just click in F2. I'm going to name it Alpha. On these two black circles below the node, you can choose in which viewer you want to see the content of the node. If you select the right circle, you can see the content on your right viewer. And if you select the left circle, you can see it on the left viewer. In Inspector, on the right side, you can change the color. In my case, I just want my node in Alpha, so I'll put 0 in Red, Green, Blue and Alpha. Now, I will create a new background and rename it. In my case, I will rename it Black Background. And now, I'll import a texture, selecting Media Pool clicking in the right button of the mouse and I'm going to select Import Media and then I'm going to drag the texture and rename it to Texture. Select the left black circle below Texture to see the texture on the left viewer. To unite the texture with the background, you need to create a merge. For that, you select Merge. The gray square is the output of the node and the blue triangle is the mask of the node. The yellow triangle is the background of the node and the green triangle is foreground. You're going to connect the yellow triangle of the node merge to the gray square of the node black background and the green triangle of the node merge to the gray square of texture. Drag merge very quick to the right viewer or select the right black circle below merge. I'm going to rename merge to background texture. On the right side in inspector you can change the size of the texture and you can change the color of the background. I'm going to choose dark gray for the background and I'm going to fill the frame with the texture. And in apply mode, I'm going to choose multiply. And as you can see, I have the background. Now click in merge and rename it. In my case, I'm going to name it final background and connect the yellow triangle of it to the gray square of alpha and the green triangle of final background with the gray square of background texture and put it to the right viewer. Behind it, you don't have anything. Create a new background and rename it and then choose the color. In my case, I'm going to rename it green rectangle and choose the color green. Now create a mask selecting rectangle or ellipse, depending on the form you want. In my case, I'm going to choose rectangle and rename it Green Rectangle Mask. On the viewer, you can change the width and the height, or you can change it on the right. Create the text and rename it. On the right, you can write what you want. I'm going to write Digital Art. Now, you have to connect these nodes. You need a merge. So, click on the Merge and rename it. Connect the yellow triangle of it with the gray square of the background. In my case, Green Rectangle. Connect the green triangle of the merge to the gray square of your text. The text doesn't appear on the viewer, but you only have to select the right black circle below the merge you recently created, and now you can see the text on the viewer. 
Select the node Digital Art Text and choose the font and the size of your text on the right. I'm just doing some adjustments on my mask. And here you can adjust the corner radius of your mask. Now I'm going to repeat the process. Create another background, rename it, select the viewer you want and choose a color. In my case, it's going to be red. And create a mask, rectangle or ellipse you choose, rename it and make your adjustments. Create a text, rename it, write whatever you want and make the adjustments as you like. Create a merge and rename it. Connect the yellow triangle of it to the gray square of your background and the green triangle to the gray square of your text. And don't forget to select the viewer. You want the two appearing together. Select up here to appear the two viewers. Now you have to select the left viewer on the second merge you did. In my case, it's a rectangle text merge. Now you have the two viewers, but how can you put them together? You have to create a new merge and connect the green triangle of it to the gray square of the first text you did, in my case, rectangle text. And now connect the yellow triangle of the merge you just created to the gray square of the previous merge, in my case, rectangle text red. Don't forget to select the viewer you want. Now you only have the first text you did, but the second text is behind it. So you have to drag every component down and then adjust as you like. Create a new merge and rename it. I'm going to name it Vectors and connect the green triangle of it to the gray square of the last merge. Create a new merge and rename it. I'm going to name it Intro. And connect the green triangle to the gray square of the final background. Create a new background and rename it. In my case, Master Alpha. And connect the yellow triangle of Intro to the gray square of Master Alpha and the gray square of the intro to the yellow triangle of vectors. Now you have to use the media out one. Select edit and as you can see doesn't appear nothing on the viewer. To show the content of the fusion composition you have to go to fusion and connect the node vectors to media out one. And if you select edit you can see that what you did already appears on the viewer. Now you already have your graphic image. I'm just going to make some adjustments. I'm going to the node YouTube channel text and I'm going to change the white just not to be entirely white. Now I'm going to digital arts text and I'll do the same thing and add the grade on the green rectangle selecting type and selecting horizontal. In this case I have the green on the left and the black on the right but I want to change so I have to change the colors. And I'm going to do the same to the red rectangle. And now I'm just doing some adjustments. And that's it for the episode 1. In the next episode, I'm going to show how to animate this intro. Stay tuned!